State whether the following are redox reactions or not. If so, determine which species is the reducing agent and which species is the oxidizing agent. Remember, based on the notes that I posted, the reducing agent is the one that does the oxidizing. You took all of this. Yeah, I got hungry. And the oxidizing agent is the one that does the reducing. We can use them later. All right. Um, so reducing agent is the one that does the oxidizing. The oxidation agent is the one that does the reducing. And remember, the biggest things I can tell you guys are Leo, Ger. Leo, the line says Ger, which means if something loses electrons, it's oxidized. And if something gains electrons, it's reduced. You have to determine whether the redox reactions or not. And we're fine. Um, we have to determine which species is the reducing agent and which is the oxidizing, oxidizing agent. So let's, I'm gonna go over number one. Number one, I know for a fact is not a redox. And the reason it's not a redox, it's because it's a double replacement reaction. All double replacement reactions are not redox. Cause sodium, and I'll show you here, sodium here, has a plus one charge. On the product side, it still has a plus one charge. Chlorine has a negative one charge always. Here, it has a negative one charge. Hydrogen has a positive one charge. Oxygen here has a negative two charge. Hydrogen here has a positive one charge. This is where it gets a little confusing. Oxygen here has a negative two. And I, I, the hydrogen here has a part of positive one. So none of these atoms or ions switch charge uh, oxidation numbers. For number two, um, double check it. So assign everything an oxidation number. So remember, elements or species atoms by themselves have no oxidation number, so it's zero. Here, three hydrogen bonds, zero. Now two and H3. And NH3 was actually one of the, I will, it was one of the exceptions to it. I don't know if you guys remember it, but if I'm not mistaken, hydrogen can have a positive or a negative one. And in this case, if hydrogen is at the beginning, it's always gonna have a positive one. But if it's towards the end, it's gonna have a negative one. So in this case, this is one of the exceptions. So in this case, hydrogen has a positive one and nitrogen has a negative, what is it? Negative three actually. And just to double check, nitrogen here, negative three is one of the potential oxidation numbers and it's actually the one, the one that's most common since it's at top. Uh, so this one is a redox reaction, which means one of them is the, does the oxidizing and the other one does the reducing. So let's go through them. So let's look at nitrogen. Nitrogen goes from a zero to a negative three. So that means that it gains electrons. If it gains electrons, that means it is reduced. And if it nitrogen gains electrons, that means it's reduced. And that means that it also does the, it's the oxidizing agent. Okay. Um, and something I think I forgot to said, the um, reducing agent and the oxidizing agent, they're always gonna be on the left side of the arrow. They're always gonna be the reactants. Let's look at the next one to double check. Hydrogen turns, it has a zero charge here and it has a positive one. So that means that hydrogen went from zero to plus one. It lost an electron. If it lost an electron, Leo, that means it's oxidized. If it's oxidized, that means it's the reducing agent. And there should be a little two there. All 
I'm going to do a couple more of these because they, these can get confusing. All right. Can someone look at number three and tell me if it's a redox reaction? Is it not one? Yeah, it's not one because it's a double replacement, see? So the sodium starts off with a plus one charge here, plus one charge here. Actually, this is a good one to go over. Sodium starts off with a plus one charge here, ends up as a plus one charge here. Chlorine has a negative one ch charge here, or negative one oxidation number here. NO3 is one of those polyatomic ions NO3 remains together on the left side, it remains together on the right side, so you can look at the entire entity. And I'm pretty sure it has a negative one charge, but just to double check, NO3 right there, nitrate has a negative one charge. So NO3 has entire thing, has a negative one charge here, it will remain a negative one charge here, which means they're left with silver. And if you look at your reference table, silver is right there. It will, it can only have a positive one charge anyways. So they all balance out to be zero. So we know they're correct. And none of them changes chart, changes oxidation numbers. So this cannot be a redox reaction. Also known as a double replacement. Let's go ahead and do four. All right, so always assign the char the oxidation numbers. Any elements by itself are going to have a charge of zero. Um, you can look at every single element if you want. However, remember SO4 is a polyatomic ion. And I said you don't have to memorize them, but you have to recognize them. So when you see them, you know that the entire thing. So they're telling you here that SO4, the entire thing, has a negative two oxidation number. That's what I'm going to concentrate on. So I don't have to break it apart, break it apart. So SO4, the entire thing has a negative two charge. SO4, the entire thing has a negative two charge. Copper here, since it's by itself, has a zero ox zero. Now let's look at copper and let's look at zinc. If SO4 has a negative two oxidation number, that means that copper must have a positive two. We're going to confirm that right here. There you go positive two is one of the um, oxidation numbers that it can have. SO4 negative two, which means zinc should also have a positive two oxidation number. And let's confirm that we did that right. And zinc can only have a positive two anyways. So some of these changes. So your oxidizing agent and your reducing agent, they're gonna be one of these ones and we have to figure out which one. So let me go through each one. Zinc. It has goes from zero to positive two. That means it lost electrons, right? Because it can be more positive. If something that lo loses electrons, Li O is oxidized. And if it's some, and if it, it's oxidized, that means that it's a reducing agent. So, so let's look at CuSO4 as a whole. Well, we're mostly going to look at uh, Cu. Here, it starts off with a positive 2. So copper, it's Cu. It goes from Cu with a plus 2 to Cu with a 0. It became more negative because it gained electrons. That's your GER. If something gains electrons, it's reduced. And if it's reduced, that means it's the one, the oxidizing agent. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have, oopsie, how do I fix this? All right, I'm going to have Olivia, what number are we on? Five. I'm going to have Olivia and Matt do number five. I'm going to have Nick Newton 
in Ryan do number seven. I'm going to have Max hold on and Sydney do number eight. And I think that's it, right? I don't forget anybody. One, two. All right. So Olivia and Matt, you're doing number five. Nick and Ryan are doing six. And Olivia or, and Sydney and Max are doing eight. You don't have to do them together. You could do them separately. Or, and then I just want to see if you guys got the same answers, different answers. All right, so you can do it in your chat box or you can take turns saying it. For number five, Olivia and Matt. Olivia, what did you get as the oxidizing agent? Or Matt, what'd you get at the oxidizing agent or the reducing agent? Like if you don't know, that's okay. But I highly suggest you don't just leave it on so it looks like you're here and leave because you know I'm gonna call on you guys anyways. Oh, good. Let me click. All right, yeah, I have no clue. Oh, all right, that's fine. Yeah, I prefer you guys to see if I don't know, then I don't know, because these aren't easy. So let me go ahead and do number five then. So let's look at, sign oxidizing numbers to every single one. Look at the one that's by itself. <clears throat> the one that's by itself is always gonna be a zero. So I'm gonna give that a zero and give this a zero. Now KCL, potassium is a group one metal. Right here, everything that's a group one is always gonna be a plus one. So that's why it's gonna have a plus one. In chlorine, it's um, a halogen, it's always gonna be a negative one. Potassium plus one, and bromine is also a halogen, negative one. Remember, halogens are right here. Um, right here, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. All right. So your oxidizing agent and your reducing agent are going to be the reactants, meaning the left side, meaning the NaCl and this, the zinc and this, the potassium chloride and bromine, the hydrogen and oxygen. Those are always going to be your oxidizing agent or reducing agent. So let's look at bromine first, just because I think it's easier to do since it's by itself. So bromine starts like this. Br2. All right, with a zero charge. Bromine goes from zero oxidation number to a negative one. That means it became more negative, and it became more negative. That's because it gained an electron. When something gains an electron, that's your GE, that means it's reduced. Leo, the line says grr, that's what it means. And if it gains an electron, that means it's reduced, hence the R. And something that is reduced is the opposite. It's the oxidizing agent. That's what OA stands for. So let's look at the other one. Chlorine, but it's not gonna be potassium because potassium started off as plus one and it remained plus one. So it's gonna be chlorine right here. So chlorine started off with a negative one and it turned to the right side to a zero. It became more negative. So it actually, did I do that one backwards? Chlorine. Oh, negative one to zero, it became more positive. So it lost an electron. Something that loses electrons, Leo, is oxidized. And if it's oxidized, that means it's the reducing agent. Okay, number six, Nick and Ryan, what did you get for six?
You can say it, you can type it. Weren't we supposed to do seven? Did I tell you seven? Yeah, then you're probably close. right, because I have you here for seven, even though I don't know why I would give it to you. What'd you get for seven then? I don't know. I don't know how to do these. Okay. So let me clear this drawing. I think I did tell you seven. I wrote your names next to six, but then I have your names and there's also seven. So let's look at seven. Let's go ahead and sign it oxidation numbers. I don't know because I don't understand really. Okay, that's fine. Um, it is very confusing. So let's look at barium. Assign everything an oxidation number. BA is your barium. Um, it's right here. Everything here has an oxidation number of plus two. So barium has a plus two here and a plus two here. Yeah. SO4, it's by its what? Okay, hold on. SO4 is by itself here. SO4 is by itself here. It's a polyatomic ion. It's one of your table E. So the entire SO4 has a negative two. This entire SO4 has a negative two. Hydrogen, we know, has a plus one and it balances out because plus two, negative two, equals zero. Um, hydroxide, right here. This is another polyatomic ion. The whole thing is a negative one. So positive two, negative two, they balance out. Here, oxygen always has a negative two. Hydrogen has a positive one. So plus two, negative two, they balance out. So nothing here really changes. The barium starts off with positive two, ends up with positive two. The oxygen has a negative two here, ends up with a negative two here. Hydrogen has a positive one, hydrogen positive one. So this right here is not a redox. Remember, a redox reaction involves a transfer of electrons. There is no transfer of electrons. So guys, if I post up a video of notes, it's because you're supposed to watch it before class. They're just notes, and in class, we're doing the practice problems. Um, number eight, hold on. Number eight, Max and Sydney. What would you guys get? Sydney, you want to go or you want me to go? I don't care. It's up to you. I got an answer either way. What? I said I got oh, an answer okay. either way. <laughs> okay, well, based on like what number seven was like, I just said there it's not a redox reaction because there's nothing is. Is okay. that not right? What about you, Sydney? What'd you get? Uh, I didn't take it like that. I said that the OA was from, or is the O, because it gains electrons. And then I said the um, MG lost electrons, because it goes from zero to positive. Okay, oh, wait, shut it down, shut it down. <laughs> I mean, I wrote down a negative two for the oxygen. I didn't put zero, my bad. Yeah, so always assign the oxidation numbers. So Mg is a group two metal. You're right, Sydney. Mg is right here. It's a group two metal. And if you look at that, guys, those little numbers means that it always has a positive two oxidation number. All right. Actually, here it's by itself, so it's going to be zero. Here, oxygen is by itself, so it's going to be zero. Magnesium, we just said, has a positive two oxidation number, and oxygen has a negative two. So the elements change. Let's look at magnesium. Magnesium started with a zero and it went to a positive two. So it lost electrons. Something that loses electrons is going to be oxidized, Leo. So it's oxidized. And if something is oxidized, that means that it is the reducing agent. The other element involved, remember they're going to be reactants, is O2. O with a little two. All right, O2 goes from here with a zero to here with a negative two. So it gained electrons, became more negative. Something that gains electrons, Leo the line says GER is reduced. And if it's something is reduced, it's the oxidizing agent. You need to wait. All right, 
Um, in that case, I want everybody to go ahead and try number 10. And give me an answer for 10 then. All right, what about you, Ryan? Nick? Oh. Yeah, you're right. Olivia, zinc is being oxidized. So let me explain that. So zinc. I got the same thing. All right. So zinc is being oxidized. And you know it because it goes from a zero to a positive two. It lost electrons. And if something loses electrons, it's Leo. It's oxidized. And if it's oxidized, that means that that's the reducing agent. Which means the other one right here is going to be the um, oxidizing agent. But which one is it? The hydrogen or the chlorine? Well, the chlorine here has an overall negative two charge. Chlorine here over has an overall negative two charge. So hydrogen. Yep. So it's going to be hydrogen. So hydrogen. I'm going to put a little two here because technically that's what it is. Hydrogen goes from a positive two to a zero. So it gained electrons. Something that gains electrons is reduced. And if it's reduced, that means it's the oxidizing agent. All right, uh, let's go through these ones. And if you looked at the notes, this is what you need to do. Fill in the appropriate number of electrons in each of the following reactions. And I'm gonna write down Leo Gurr again. So once again, Leo, the lion says Gurr. So you don't forget. You have to balance out equations. When you're writing down half reactions, half reactions are the ones, part of the equations that only show the Leo or that only show the Gurr. So for instance, right here, it needs to balance zero. Here you have mercury that went from positive two to a zero. So if it went from a positive two to a zero, that means it gained electrons, right? If it gains electrons, that means it is reduced. Um, AU, I think that's gold. It went from a zero to a positive three. That means it lost electrons. And if it lost electrons, that means it is oxidized. Iron went from, even though it's not written here, here it has a zero because it's by itself, but here it's hard to see, but there's a negative one there. It went from zero to a negative one. It went from zero to a negative one. That means it gained electrons, so it is reduced. Zinc went from positive two to a zero. It also, positive two to a zero, it gained electrons. It became more towards the negative, so it is also reduced. All right, um, the other thing you gotta write is um, this. You have to balance equations out. So if there's a positive two here, well, if it goes from two to zero, you have to balance it out. And the way you do this is you write then two electrons. And here, this is zero here. You want to balance it out. So you're going to do plus three electrons. Here, there's a negative one here. Here, there's a zero here. And this one's a little bit different because there's two fluorines of negative one. So the way, technically, wait, I think that one's written wrong, weird. Oh, then two electrons, because you always want to balance it out. Two, negative two here, zero here, balance it out. Zinc, zinc zero. On the left side, you want a zero, so it's going to be two electrons. Again. All right, 
Uh, Olivia, do number 10. Matt, do number nine. Nick, do number eight. Sydney, do seven. Max, do six. And Ryan, do five. Ryan, five. Max, six. Sydney, seven. And I think Olivia, 10. Matt, nine. And Nick, eight. All right, let's try it. Number five, I think we said um, Ryan. All right, so like it's an oxidation? Yep. Yep, it's oxidized. And here you would write is to balance it out, you'd write plus two electrons. Yeah. Okay. Number six, max. I said oxidation with plus three electrons. Yep, with three electrons. All right. Uh, seven, Sydney. Oh, I said reduced, and it's by two electrons. Yep. Eight, I think I said Nick. Oh, well, I was getting reckless. All right. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. It's reduced by one. For number. For, for, for eight. Yep. For eight. Yep. yep. It's reduced by. All right. Nine, McDougal. And Olivia, you can start typing for number 10. All right, I'll do nine then. Um, you go from positive two to a zero. You gained electron. If you gained electron, you are reduced. And here you would write two electrons. Okay, and Olivia, 10. Yep. You're right, and I'll type it in. So yeah, two electrons. And oxidize. All right, if you don't have it, go ahead and write that down. Um, I'm just gonna finish the rest of the paper, uh, this worksheet, and then we're done for the day. Um, all right, follow, for the following reaction, determine what is oxidized and what is reduced. Draw brackets and label the brackets oxidation reduction so here you go from copper to right here all right what that means is it's going from zero to a positive two so that means that i'll write it here it means the copper is going from a zero to a positive two that means it lost electrons zero to positive two, lost electrons. So it is oxidizes, which means it's a reducing agent. On the other one, we have from AG with a positive one to AG with a zero. So AG, it was from positive to zero, it gained electrons. So that means it's reduced, which means it's an oxidizing agent. So I went ahead and figured out. So the oxidizing agent we've already said, identify as AG, the pod. The reducing agent right here, we identified as copper, just plain by itself. The species being reduced, that's right here, the R, that is gonna be AG. The species being oxidized right here, that's the copper. Is the following, and I was asking, so is it a redox reaction? Yes, because there is a transfer of electrons. 
so right here, oh, they're asking us about the question below. How do you can tell? So magnesium, it's by itself here. Chlorine is a negative one. Hydrogen is a positive one. Chlorine here is a negative one. Magnesium is a positive one. Actually, I think that's wrong. Because look at that. Chlorine is negative one, so overall it has a negative two, which means magnesium should have a positive two. And if you look here, yep, magnesium is a group two metal. So positive two in mercury and hydrogen right here is going to be a zero. So how can you tell? And I know that because magnesium has, well, this is, there's a couple different ways to write it. I'm going to write them all in. Magnesium is uncombined on the left and then combined with chlorine. with chlorine on the right. Or you could say magnesium has an oxidation number of zero, zero, on the left and then positive two on the right. Or you could say both magnesium and hydrogen change the amount of electrons they have from left side to right side. There's a different way of saying that. 